The rise of data analytics is changing the tax profession in a number of ways. It's affecting tax compliance, tax planning, and tax controversy. It's even affecting taxes and financial reporting. Let's start with tax compliance, which includes filing accurate tax returns on time and staying compliant with tax laws and regulations. Companies are increasingly automating the collection of raw, unstructured tax data, the sending of tax documents to contractors, and the filing of forms so that the correct tax forms are sent to the correct tax authority. This is particularly important for companies that do business globally and have to comply with tax laws in hundreds or thousands of jurisdictions that have different rates and different exemptions that change from year to year. Some firms are now pulling data from multiple different sources into a single tax data warehouse, which reduces manual data entry and allows the company to transform and clean the data after it's been collected. All of these changes have provided a number of benefits, such as reduced processing time, in some days going from days to hours, a reduced risk of data entry errors, and improved data security by making it easy to limit what users can see. But perhaps most importantly, these changes are allowing tax staff to shift their time from data collection to tax planning and analysis. With extra time, tax staff can use third-party software to perform what-if analysis. Examples include predicting the impact of a proposed transaction across multiple jurisdictions, analyzing the tax implications of buying or selling an asset, and identifying the tax consequences of a proposed merger. Tax staff can also use third-party software to monitor tax rates in different jurisdictions and generate insights for tax planning. For example, employees can model different scenarios to quickly see the impact of different transfer pricing arrangements. This might result in an employee spotting an opportunity to shift profits to a low-tax jurisdiction. Employees can also use third-party software to see whether certain activities, like research and development, might qualify for tax credits. But despite the company's best efforts, sometimes the company will end up in tax court. The good news is that data analytics can help with tax controversy as well. For example, you can use a machine learning model to predict the outcome of a tax case. Models can uncover statistical patterns in past tax cases and not only predict the outcome of a future tax case, but show the effect of a specific fact pattern on the outcome. Thus, you can use the model to develop a more effective litigation strategy as the model tells you which issues are likely to be determinative. For example, if there are seven factors relevant to whether a company should be granted a tax deduction, the model can tell you which of those seven factors is likely to have the greatest effect on the outcome of the case, and thus, the factors that you should spend the most time on when you're crafting your litigation strategy. Some machine learning models are accurate more than 90% of the time. A tax practitioner wouldn't be able to read 300 cases on a specific legal issue and then rank the various factors in order of importance, but artificial intelligence can. The downside is that a large amount of data is required, and there can be issues when the tax law changes. But using a machine learning model to analyze past tax cases allows you to quantify risks, identify weak points in a client's case, and develop the optimal strategy. Now we've talked about tax compliance, planning, and controversy, but data analytics also has ramifications for taxes and financial reporting. For example, tax staff can use tools from third-party software to predict income tax expense. This makes it easier for the company to forecast its earnings. The tax staff can also use dashboards and data visualization tools to monitor the company's tax liability. This can improve the speed with which tax information is provided to top management and improve decision making. And the reduced errors and improved security that I mentioned earlier will make it easier for the company to get a clean audit opinion and not have the auditor raising issues about internal controls. These are just a few examples of how data analytics is changing the tax profession. It'll be exciting to see what happens going forward. If you found this video helpful and would like to receive my PDF guides to U.S. taxation, just sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below. You can also access my tax guides by becoming a supporter on Patreon.